In today's lesson, you will learn about different types of variations of proportionality. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to write the equation of all different types of variations. So the first type of variation is direct variation. So when a variable y varies directly as another variable x, so we write the equation of direct variation as y equals to kx. For the inverse variation, we say a variable y varies inversely as another variable x. So in this case, we have to divide. So we write the equation as y equals to k divided by x. So the third type of variation is joint variation. So in this case, a variable y jointly varies as two or more variables. So we are going to write the equation as y equals to k x z. So combined variation is when we combine direct and inverse variation in the same question. So in this case, if you have a variable y that varies directly as a variable x and inversely as variable z, so you are going to write the equation of the combined variation as y equals to kx divided by z. So in all of those types, k is the constant of variation or proportionality. For the direct variation example one, so we say the gravitational force F of an object varies directly as the mass M of the object. So in this case, F equals to Km. Second example, the area of a circle A is directly proportional to the square of the radius of the circle. So you are going to have A equals to Kr raised to the power of 2. For inverse variation, let's look at example one. The volume V of a gas is inversely proportional to the pressure P of the gas. So we are going to have V equals to K divided by P. So for example two, if we say Z varies inversely as the square of S. So in this case, Z will be equals to K divided by S raised to the power of two. So joint variation, so uh, the first example, so we say a variable r varies jointly as p and q. So in this case, we are just going to have the equation as r equals to k, p, q. In the second example of joint variation, so let's say a variable e is jointly proportional to m and the square of v. E. So we are going to say e equals to k, m, v raised to the power of t. So for combined variation, so let's look at the first example. The volume V of a gas is directly proportional to the temperature T of the gas and inversely proportional to the pressure P of the gas. So again, we are going to write the equation of this question as V equals to KT divided by P. In the same vein, for example, two of combined variation, so if we say the variable h directly varies as d and inversely varies as the square root of q. So in this case, we are going to have h equals to kd divided by the square root of 